Hi ladies, welcome back. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this very lovely, if I do say so myself, spring look, including what I'm wearing. If you're new here, my name is Sally and I love to share content for women over 50 to help you not only look good, but to feel fabulous. Please think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you never miss a beat. So if you're ready, let's get started. Everything that I show you or mention today, I will put in the description box with all the links. I will also put them in a pinned comment below so you will not miss a thing. So let's get on with the makeup. First of all, skincare and sunscreen. I have applied La Roche-Posay. It is my absolute favorite go-to. It's their Anthelios. It is 50 plus and I do have sun sensitivity. If I forget, which is very rare, to put my sunscreen on, I always carry one of these. I recommend you get one of these ladies. These are fabulous. They spray over your makeup. They don't make your skin feel, you know, when you've got too much sunscreen on and it feels really strange or you get a weird cast on your face. This is good stuff. It's their Super UV Over Makeup Mist. I carry that in my bag every single day. I've also used my absolute favorite go-to Ombriolis. This is a French wonder product, I'm going to call it, for your primer, I suppose you would call it, under your makeup. I absolutely love it. So next step is this. This is the CC Cream by Aborian. It is Korean skincare and makeup in one. It is wonderful stuff. This comes out white and then once you start to rub it into your skin, it changes color. It's fabulous. I'm in the Colorway Claire, which is this one here. So I will demonstrate that for you. Squeeze a small amount on to my finger. You can see that it's white. I just rub it in and pop it on and it will literally, oh, it's gorgeous stuff. It even feels like silk on the skin. And that will even up my skin tone. I've got a little bit of a spot up here. I have dark circles and I like to pat this stuff around my eyes as well because it really lifts and gives a lovely glow. Have a look. So there you go. That's just with that on. Can you see it gives a really nice glow? Oh, I forgot to mention my under eye cream. I'm loving this at the moment. This is by Ren. It is their dark circle, what's it called? Brightening dark circle eye cream. I love this. I'll show you it. It's got a slight tint to it, but it doesn't, if you know, if you're darker skin tone than me, don't be afraid of it. It's not going to make you look like you've got white under eyes but it is really lovely. I've already done that. Pat it on, leave it a couple of minutes because it really activates. It's got caffeine in it. Okay, so I've done the Aborian. Now I'm just going to do my dark shadows. This is the tried, tested and true Maybelline eraser. I think I'm in the shade 2N. I can't remember that, I can't remember. I will pop it on a link. So just straight under my under eyes with the sponge. I sometimes pop that on my fingers, but I'm going to use my ring fingers just to pat that in. I'll also pop a little bit on this friend that's arrived. Get rid of that. Next up, my foundation. This is my favorite at the moment. The Wet n Wild, this is their Photo Focus Dewy Finish. They come in matte and dewy and they have something like 50 shades. So it is such a fabulous, fabulous foundation. Now I'm not a makeup artist, but I have watched other makeup artists that totally know what they're talking about and know their stuff, unlike me. And they say that this is comparable to the Dior Skin, is it? That one, the really expensive one. So I'm all for it. Now it has a little plastic kind of doe foot. I'm not a fan of it, but I'll go with it. So I'll pop it on and a little goes a long way. It is very liquid, but don't let that put you off. And I love that it gives me that kind of dewy radiance. I would say my skin is normal to dry. I have, it's not oily. And now I'm just going to use a brush just to feather that in. 
and get that in all over. Oh, I do like this foundation, girls. Honestly, it's only something like $5.99 on Amazon. Um, and I know sometimes it's difficult to buy cosmetics on Amazon, but I found that if you figure out what your regular shade is in the foundation you love, I found that the wet and wild ones are really, really true to, to size, true to colour. So that's the wet and wild foundation, photo focus. Again, giving me a little bit of a dewy glow. If you don't like that, then get the matte finish. The matte finish is fabulous as well. Next up, I'm going to add a little bit of radiance and tan. So this is the Chanel Les Beige. I'll use my bronzer brush, bronzer brush to do that. Pop a little bit of that on across my forehead. Give myself a bit of color. So that's that. That's given me a nice little bit of glow. Thought I'd mention while we're talking about tan and bronzers, I'm actually using this right now. I know it's been around forever and I know it constantly wins awards. This is the Summer Revived and it is a gradual tanner. Now, I'm very fair, but I, I ordered the medium to dark results. But actually, all I did was one layer and I really like it. I feel you can't really see because these lights are so bright, but it's just given me a little bit of a lift rather than look like I am polar white. <laughs> it's given me a bit of color. So, you know, people don't actually worry that they need to revive me. So this one, it is a gradual tanner and it's really moisturizing. Love, love, love it. So I would recommend if you're looking for, um, you know, a fake tanner, this one is the one. And I haven't found that it transfers onto clothes yet. So love that. So next up, I'm going to do my eyes. I have just purchased this. This is the Urban Decay Naked 2, their basic collection. I adored the colors as soon as I saw it. I knew that this would be the palette for me. I love it. I am going to use all the neutrals and I'll probably use all of these colors because you know what it's like. You get one of these palettes and you hardly touch 50% of the colors. So first of all, I'm going to use these two lighter shades here just to put a wash on my lids. And then I'll use these two here, not the darker two, these two here, just to create a little bit of definition in my crease. So popping the lighter color all over my lid. Sorry girls, I've got a bit of a frog today. I don't think I drank enough water yesterday. All the way up. Okay, so that's, that's that one, just a wash of color on my eyelid. Now I'm going to come in with this one and I'm just going to lift it a little higher on my eyelid just to give the illusion of more space. That's one of those tricks that I think Wayne Goss did. And if you come really high, higher than you think you need, you actually create the illusion of your crease being higher and just more space. So if you've got hooded lids, this is a good little trick. So just coming really high up like so and then just in a V, sort of creating a V shape to the corner of your lash line and then up. I love that, that's such a gorgeous color. Right, now I'm just going to take a little bit of this shade here, which is a bit darker, and I'm going to just pop that in my crease just on the corner. I don't want to go too far over and a little bit down. Now I'm going to just blend that all in so it doesn't look too harsh and hard. So that's that. Now I'm going to put a tiny bit of liner on my lash line and a little bit of the darker shadow underneath. Now for my liner, I can't do it on camera. I have tried, but I just can't do it. I do it and it literally looks like a donkey's back leg. So. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, just for a second or two. There you are. It still looks like a donkey's back leg, but at least you weren't watching me. <laughs> so now I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of color underneath my lashes. I'll use the darker shade that I used under my crease for that, just to come in a little bit. I don't want anything too dark under my eyes. That can be quite aging. I know a lot of people don't like the black eyeliner above my lashes, but I do. The next thing I'm going to do is my mascara. I adore the Maybelline Lash Sensation or Lash Sensational. 
I absolutely love this one. The spoolie is just perfect. It separates your lashes. It's a really good one for if you've got short stubby lashes because it has a long side and then kind of like really short little bristles that get those stubby ones. So I love to create quite a lot of lash. It's one of the things that I like in my makeup. So I tend to spend a little bit of time doing my mascara. So I keep getting asked what I'm using on my lashes. And if you'd seen my lashes 90 days ago, well, you wouldn't be able to see my lashes 90 days ago. I have been using a little line of castor oil on my lashes most nights, and it has definitely made my lashes grow. Now, there are a few people say that you shouldn't use it around your eyes now. Apparently somebody says that it can cause fat loss around the eyes. And well, I don't know about that. I do know that it definitely, definitely has created more lash for me. I did a video, if you haven't seen my video for castor oil, um, I'll link it just up here because that stuff is a miracle oil. It's amazing. If you're a woman over 50 or over 40, well, anybody actually, you don't even need to be a woman. I would highly recommend you have a look at that video. It's fantastic in terms of what it did for me. For my cheeks, I'm going to use a blush by NYX. It's this one, it's called Daydream. It actually reminds me of a NARS one quite a bit. It is such a vibrant color. It's not for the faint hearted, but I like a bit of cheek. So I always give myself a cheeky grin. I always do in the apples of my cheeks. That definitely gives you a bit of a youthful, just been out in the garden, kind of summery, really healthy glow that you used to have when you were kids. And I always go across my nose, really where the sun is going to hit your face. I think that's it. Oh, I'm liking this today. Right, so I'm going to do my brows. Somebody put on one of my videos, they can't believe with a shocked face, I can't believe you didn't do your brows. Well, I'm not a makeup artist and yes, I know that the brows are really important, but sometimes we forget or we haven't got enough time. So today I'm using this pencil. Let me quickly tell you what it is. Double-ended brow pencil with a spoolie. It's by It Cosmetics. It's called Brow Power. It is really great. So combing through with this lovely sharp pencil so you get nice little hair strokes. Immediately you think that's a bit dark, but it brushes out so lovely and it will make your brows look really well done and not overdone. I don't want two great big bloody slugs on my brow. So brush them in a little bit, come up there. So that hopefully will satisfy those of you that message me and say I should do my brows. Now I'm going to comb through because I don't want a thick black brow. I do like to use a brow gel. This is the benefit. I think it's called set and forget. I can't really remember, but that just means I can literally just comb that through and leave it. And I don't have to think about my brows again for the rest of the day. Now let's do my lips. So I love this Revolution lip liner. It is strawberry pink, I think. And my absolute fave go-to, probably bored of it by now, is Cherry Kiss by Max Factor. It's a lovely cherry red well used. I do like this one. So let's do it. Oh, before I do, let me tell you about this. This is by Iconic London. It is called their Waterproof Gel Lip Liner. Now, for those of us that have got smokers lines or these uh, barcode lines above your lip or even at the bottom, but you don't really want to wear a lip liner, and I know there's lots of you ladies that don't, then this is really good. Unfortunately, I need to sharpen it, so apologies. But it's completely clear. But what it does, it seals your lip line. It's genius. I haven't seen this before until recently. So you just go along and it just seals your lips so that your lipstick doesn't bleed into your lines. So I'm going to line my lips with this one. Oh my goodness, they all need sharpening. I'm so sorry. I have got wonky lips. My lip here comes down a little bit. So to compensate, I'll bring that down a little bit. 
and knock that back a little bit. That's it. Whoops. Now for some lipstick. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of translucent powder. I like the Laura Mercier translucent. So just popping that on just where I don't really want to shine too much. So that's today's look. I think you'll agree. It is very pretty. I love it. I'm really happy with that palette, that one there. Such an easy palette to use. And remember, I'm no makeup artist in case you were wondering. I'm sure you probably thought I was with that demonstration. <laughs> but this is one that I would highly recommend you get. Um, what have I got on? So I am wearing a fabulous little summer top, spring top. I love these flutter sleeves. They've got, if I get a bit closer, they almost look like pom-poms sat on the fabric. Just such a nice, easy wearer, throw over, really lovely. I love this little mandarin collar and came in so many colors. So that's Amazon, I'll link that. My earrings are my usual, I adore them. Nod to Batiga Veneta, I wear them all the time. I really do need to get some, something else on. <laughs> You're probably very bored, but they're so easy to wear, really lightweight. I'm never ever, ever going to recommend you something that drags your ears down, mainly because my ears look like spaniel ears, but anyway. And I've also got on a Monica Veneta, Veneta? Um, that's a little diamond in there. Really affordable though, beautiful. Oh, and of course, these, look how gorgeous that bracelet is. Love, 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 love. Going to link everything below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing. Maybe share it with your girlfriends. I aim to bring videos just like this every single week to help you not only look good, but to feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.